Greetings! Today, I will show you how to install the FSR3 frame generation mod into Cyberpunk 2077 without HUD UI ghosting. It still has some issues, but now it's playable and the gameplay is smooth. These are my settings. The Phantom Liberty update hits pretty hard on weaker CPUs like mine, so I customize my settings to lower the CPU usage, but still, it's too demanding, and I'm using Intel XESS for upscaling. So, if you have a beefier CPU than mine and have the same GPU, expect more FPS and a stutter-free experience. As always, like and subscribe, let's dive in. I'm using the latest 2.11 updated game for this. It's not working well with mods, so expect some inconvenience. Now, go to the link in the description and download the upscaling file. Open your Cyberpunk file location. Open the zip file and drop everything here except this folder. This file is optional, but if your CPU can't handle traffic and crowd, you can completely disable them. This will reduce CPU load. If you want to install this, follow my lead. Go back from here to the engine folder. Follow this path and extract the user file here. Now back to the FSR3 installation. After you put everything, open the game from here one time and quit. Don't open the game from the launcher. When you quit, you will see this file. Open it using Notepad or any text editor. Change this value as shown. Save the file and open the game. I'm not going to test FSR because it's horrible. DLSS has issues too. Let's try DLSS first. See, the HUD issue came back. That's why I said the 2.11 update breaks things. But re-enabling DLSS fixed that.
You can see DLSS has a lot more shimmering and artifacts. It gives you more FPS, but it isn't pleasant. Oh yeah? Any reason why? I've made a breakthrough in my research and development that will allow the Delamain network to spread its wings. That does sound exceptional. I won't bore you with the... Details. After all, no one likes a chat. When you are driving, you can see at the bottom of the screen, you have a line with ghosting. It only appears when you are driving, not when walking. You can see it clearly when you are in the daytime. The beautiful thing about Luke's latest mod with Cyberpunk is you can use frame generation without any upscaling. You will get a lower FPS, but it's remarkable. If you look closely when you use DLSS, this kind of issue can appear. Now when you use the Intel XS issue is gone and the image is clearer than DLSS with a cost of little FPS. I recommend XS all day for Cyberpunk. It's so greatly implemented. Let's fight and see how many FPS will I lose. only time I lose my FPS is when I'm CPU limited. You can see CPU usage go high and GPU usage go low. Okay, that's it. I'm working on a video about installing Cyberpunk with Realistic Graphics Mod and Luke's Mod. Hope I will succeed. Wish me luck. Like and subscribe. Have a nice day.